Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. I've just woken up. I just got out of the shower and I'm actually about to do my laundry in the sink right now. Um, they have laundry facilities here, but it costs uh, fifth or five dirham per piece. That's five, uh, 50 cents basically um, per like article of clothing. So basically it would cost me over 100 dirham uh, just to do my laundry. And I do definitely need to do laundry, but I don't feel like spending that much. So I'm going to try and do some of it in the sink here, but uh, we'll see. So because this sink doesn't have like a stop feature to stop the water, I'm just keeping it running to not to keep water in it, and then I'm putting a bar of soap in there, so hopefully that makes it, you know, the water somewhat soapy, so that uh, I can wash my clothes. Alright guys, just finished my laundry and dropped off the rest of it. Um, and I'm coming up here just to check the weather, and it is slightly rainy a little bit, it's a light drizzle. Um, so hopefully having my camera draped over like that with my shirt will be fine. I'm really quite layered up, uh, this way I don't get too cold, but yeah, let's go explore Fez. Inside lane, missing exits, include to the pavement, between the lines, I keep my gate straight ahead. Alright guys, after walking through the old city for a while, I reached the Adarim Madrasa, um, which is a incredibly elaborate building, super old. Um, I mean, you'll see in a second, but just look how detailed this place is. And it goes all the way around. This is just the courtyard, I've yet to go into the other building, but super impressed. Alright guys, I just left the madrasa. Um, the rain's coming down a little bit harder now, so I decided to put away my big camera. I'm just going on this for now. Uh, but I think I'm going to try and find something to eat. Because I'm starting to get pretty hungry. Alright guys, the rain has slowed up a little bit, uh, but I was getting a little cold. So I saw this, and I uh, went and, and I bought it. Um, I really like it. I'm really happy about it. Let me know what you think. Um, it's really warm. I got it for like 30 US, so not bad. I probably could have negotiated it down more, but... I really wanted it so um, but so on my way to find lunch hopefully I can get that soon Open eye, feel the waves cut through me all right guys just had my lunch um, I actually tried camel I had a camel burger um, I didn't film it because it was super busy but um, it was okay it's hard to explain I don't really know what to compare it to at all if anything I uh, won't be giving up beef anytime soon but it was pretty good, I can't complain. Um, and I also had another tea and spiced coffee, so it's fantastic. Now on to see the rest of the sites. Okay guys, here I am in front of the entrance. You can see the blue gate there. Uh, that's the entrance to the old city. Um, it's a big landmark here in Fez. Uh, I actually worked my way backwards. Normally you start there and work your way in. I started in and worked my way out of the Medina, but um, I had to move a little bit so you can't get that good of a view because there's a couple uh, police people there and they don't enjoy being filmed, so they asked me to move. But anyway, if you're ever here in Fez and you want to try and find out uh, how to get here, you know you've reached Medina when you see that spot. Alright guys, I've arrived at the Medersa Ben Unyani. I don't know. Don't want to murder it. Um, but this is the oldest of all of Fez's religious institutions. The college dates back, I think, to like 1310. Um, but the same kind of intricacy that you, you saw at the last place. Um, the tile work, all the woodwork, the stone work, it's incredible. I also feel super lucky to be in here because supposedly, um, if you're not a Muslim, you're not supposed to be in, but I just had to pay 20 dirham and I'm in the courtyard. Obviously, they won't let me into the mosque over there, but still, totally worth it. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back in my Airbnb right now. Um, I've walked up and down uh, the main street in the old city and explored a lot of the side streets and everything. Um, but I'd walked up and down that main street like twice, so it was getting kind of cold with all the rain and everything, so I decided just to stop in and get a little dry before I head back out for dinner. I absolutely love this city. I think it might be my favorite so far because Marrakesh was a little bit touristy and uh, here not as many people uh, bug you to you know, buy things or step into their, into their stall and everything. Um, but it is a little bit smaller, so especially the old city, uh, which makes sense because it's the oldest in Morocco. Um, actually, I think in most of the Arab world, the oldest walled city. Um, so it is a little smaller, and you really only need like one, 
one day to fully see it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't only spend one day here, um, although you can if you want to. So for me, I don't feel like I'm missing anything out by heading out and leaving Fish Chef Shallon tomorrow. One thing that I did notice, both uh, here and in Marrakesh, which is a little like upsetting but understandable, um, is just every single stall uh, in those old cities now is just turned into some commercialization thing. Um, now there are some traditional craftsmen and stuff that are making this, or at least I think they are. I don't think it's made in China, but who knows. Um, but then there's some, you know, there's a bunch of knockoff, uh, you know, Louis Vuitton bags and knockoff sunglasses and watches. Um, and I'm just, I think you saw some of that in the footage today. I think I got some of it. Um, but, you know, I, I can't imagine that was always like that. Uh, that probably just started when Morocco became a much bigger tourist destination, um, which is a little upsetting, but, you know, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. And so instead of focusing on that, I tried focusing on, you know, all the walls and the, and the, the streets and even the... the um, you know, the roof above us, which is like a wooden thing that had holes in it, that water was always dripping down when it was covered. Um, all the stone buildings and everything like that. And I'd try and step onto some of those side streets to get uh, away from it all. Uh, I tried focusing on that because that's really like the essence of the city. That's um, it, it really conveys the sense of like uh, the age of the city. It's, I think that's what makes uh, Fez so special for me. Um, the fact that we are up in the mountains. It is a little bit chillier. It feels a little bit more... Um, natural and raw while Marrakesh was kind of in the desert, which I thought was also really cool. It was kind of like an oasis. Either way, I'm really excited to be here. I had a great time today. Um, I hope I got some good footage for you guys, and uh, I'm really excited to go to Chef Shaolin tomorrow. And behind me, guys, you can hear the prayer, uh, the call to prayer now. guys I'm back outside now trying to find some dinner uh, it's raining a little bit so I think I'm gonna try and stay a little close and go to a cafe or something uh, but we'll see. all right guys I'm back in my place um, I did eat dinner uh, I didn't just turn around um, but again it was kind of a traditional place it was actually pretty dark in there too um, so I decided not to film but believe it or not I actually got a, got a vegetarian dish I had uh, the harira soup again which is those chickpeas and lentils and that broth um, and then I actually had a saffron and vegetable tagine, which was incredible. So if you've ever been fast, I highly recommend the Ruin Garden. Um, the scenery was fantastic. Again, I'm sorry I couldn't show it to you because it was so dark in there. Um, but uh, the scenery is great and the food is really good as well. Right now I'm actually just going to pack up my room, get everything all set so tomorrow morning I can just leave. Uh, because I do have to get up kind of early to catch that bus to Chef Shallon. I'm also a little like, uh, I don't want to say nervous, but um, that it's going to snow tomorrow. I, 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 di I did some laundry today, so, you know, I will have more layers to wear, which will be good. Um, but I came to Morocco to get away from the snow, not to have more snow, so. I'm joking, of course, Chef Shallon will hopefully be one of the top stops of the trip. Um, I really hope to get some good photos, and I'm super pumped to be going there.